Hi guys, I'm Lacey and I'm here with a review of Mitrum Charcoal. I've been using this charcoal for a while and it's really been like a thing amongst certain artists and especially at a different ateliers and that kind of thing. So I wanted to come to you today and share my absolute, totally honest opinion about this material. Let me just start off by discussing what it is a little bit. This is a fine charcoal, which is different than a compressed charcoal. I use vine or willow charcoal when I am working in charcoal and when I'm teaching my classes. Often I'm not using this as my only charcoal. I will start with a vine charcoal and eventually move on to compressed charcoal. And my reason for that is that this stuff tends to erase a lot more easily than the compressed charcoal, but also, you know, it wipes off more easily. So I find that the compressed charcoal sticks better. So some of the time, that's the purpose. It's not really what I'm finishing my drawing with. I'm not creating the whole thing with it. I'm just starting off with this stuff. But a lot of people do use exclusively this without any other kind of charcoal to create their drawings. And on occasion, I do the same thing. When I do that, it's generally when I'm working on white paper instead of toned paper. I'm not usually using white charcoal as much with it. I'm using the white of the paper. So I want things to be a little bit more forgiving. I wanna be able to erase more and I want to be able to create delicate transitions. It's really in those areas that I find that this is advantageous compared to just using it for a block in and then moving on to something else. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. I have here the four different hardnesses, at least that I'm aware of, that they offer. So on this end, we have H, which is the hardest, HB, B, and then the soft that I don't think that there's a letter or a number going along with this one. They just consider it a soft charcoal. Now it also comes in two different sizes. Uh, so one is a little bit larger. You'll see this is an example of that. So this is a square or rectangular piece of charcoal and it's a little on the large side. And this one here, is thinner, but it's still square. Now the round ones, uh, the soft are round. I don't believe that they come in square and there are some like really big sizes of these. I don't have any of those. I just have this one size of them, but I do have the two different sizes of some of the rectangular sticks of charcoal. Now, what I really find is the sweet spot with these, at least for me and the style that I do, are these two middle ones, the HB and the B. I find that the hard one is a little bit inconsistent. It's scratchy, <laughs> so it tends to make some noise. Sometimes it doesn't really draw, it just kind of scratches. Other times it draws really well. I find that as I'm rotating the stick of charcoal that um, I'm able to you know, figure out where it is that it will make the best mark, but I don't really enjoy that inconsistency. Uh, this is where you're really able to get nice, delicate work with the charcoal, especially when it is sharpened to a really nice point. But it's not my favorite because of that inconsistency and because I'm not a fan of noisy charcoal. The HB and the B though are very consistent. Uh, something that I really like is that it's hard enough compared to other kinds or other brands of vine or willow charcoal, you're able to get a really nice sharp point on it and keep it for quite a while. So um, that's just something that I like about them. Generally, if I'm using this charcoal, I'm wanting to be more delicate with my shading. I'm wanting to have it nice and sharp. And other charcoals are just so soft that it doesn't hold the shape. Uh, so it's a little bit more clumsy. More of the charcoal comes off. So, you know, that's good if you want to shade a big area really dark, but it's not good if you're trying to use hatching and create a nice smooth transition. It's just like overwhelming a little bit. So I like this is right there in the middle. 
And then the soft, you know, it's nice. It is softer, it covers more area, but I don't really feel the difference with the soft between using another brand. Now that's not to say that there's no difference. There's clearly a difference between the soft here and the soft of another brand. What I'm saying is that for what I use this charcoal for, which is creating delicate transitions, it's so soft that it's not holding the kind of point that I want to, it's not doing what I want to in terms of those delicate transitions. So I'm not as excited about that one either. It might be somebody's favorite, there may be purposes for it beyond uh, what I'm doing, but to me, if I'm going to use something soft, it doesn't really matter what brand I'm using. So that said, right, like, is this worth it? I would say that this is worth it if you are experienced with charcoal so that you are going to notice those nuanced differences. If you are brand new to drawing, you might not notice at all the difference between this charcoal and another charcoal. If you are trying to work on white paper exclusively with the charcoal, you're not working on a toned paper, this is ideal. If you're trying to work in another brand of Vine charcoal um, and it's really soft and it's difficult to manage, you're not going to get the kind of transitions and nuance that you want. So whether you're a beginner or you're more advanced, if you're working on white paper and you want a full range of values, definitely go with this stuff. Another time that I highly recommend this is just when you're trying to feel <laughs> fancy, right? Like you want to use really good art materials that can impact your work. So you want to make sure that you are using the best, you are delivering drawings to people, all that kind of thing. This is gonna be great for you. A time that I don't think it's really necessary to spend the money on this because it is much more expensive than other kinds of vine charcoal. Um, it's not really necessary if you're just a beginner and you're using it as part of a larger uh, group of materials. So if you're using the vine charcoal just to do a block in and you also have uh, compressed charcoal and pencils and all kinds of different things, it just might not really work out for you to spend the money on this. So for example, all of my beginning charcoal classes, I wouldn't say that it's necessary to get this kind of a charcoal because we're just using the vine at the beginning really quick to make some estimates and then we're moving along. So in conclusion, my recommendation is if you are working on white paper, if you want your medium to be really forgiving, if you want to sharpen to a nice point and you want to use the vine charcoal to get delicate transitions instead of just using it for a quick block in, I recommend that you get the HB and the B hardnesses and leave out the H, leave out the hard one, leave out the soft one and just go there for those two in the middle and I think you'll be very happy with the results.